And before he died, he became a theist. And, and this was the argument that convinced him that there is no way we could have such a finely tuned universe without some kind of an intelligence behind it. I can't call it miraculous because that would imply <laughs> that they believe in God. But I understand uh, that Anthony Flew, Anthony, I don't know if any of you have ever heard of Anthony Flew, but he was a prominent atheist <clears throat> back in the 60s, 70s, maybe 80s. When I was in school for 50 years, he was the, the chief he, atheistic philosopher. He was, go -to yeah. go-to guy. <laughs> and before he died, he became a theist. And, and this was the argument that convinced him that there is no way we could have such a finely tuned universe without some kind of an intelligence behind it. And, and so yeah. many of the top scientists are coming to that okay. conclusion now. The Earth is in what's called a habitable zone. If it was 2% closer, it'd be too close, we'd burn up. If it was 2% farther out, it'd be too cold, uh, we couldn't exist uh, that way. And uh, Earth is just in the, in the perfect position. And that has to be that size for it to be the 20, remember the 23 and a half degrees that is Tilt leaning the over. Earth. Yep. And if we didn't have that, we wouldn't have seasons. No. <laughs> there wouldn't be the seasons uh, at, at all. And if it wasn't exactly the right size, we wouldn't have the title <laughs> cleansing that we and, have at the And ocean. all these things are absolutely necessary for life, let alone advanced life like us.